Today I have a super exciting tutorial for you. It is using the Lange L apostrophe A N G E hair care. So I've got two of their products that I'm going to be using, which is the Rival Heat Shield and the Satin Nectar Nourishing Gloss. I will write right here what this wand is. So when you first plug in the wand, it blinks the blue little thing right there, and it just says off which I feel like is just great because it still tells you like, hey, I'm still plugged in, but not aggressive enough to be on. So that's a yes for me. When you want to turn it on, the power button is the bottom button. And when you hold it down for a few seconds, I had it on 370 last time, which is where about mine needs to be because I don't need super high heat. It doesn't take that much for my hair to curl. So it tells you its progress as it's heating up. So... Right now we're at 114, which I think is so cool because you can see it's progress, kind of like when you're making the oven preheat. For anyone that needs it to go hotter, I think it might go through 450, but I'm not trying to scorch my hair, so I'd like it to stay attached. I picked this wand because I have the Angele, I think that's how you pronounce it, wand, which doesn't have the tip at the end that you can touch, so this has a different... It's just plastic at the end so you can wrap it and hold a little better. I do love that one because I think it's easier to leave longer ends out of the curl so that it leaves a longer hairstyle. This one, you can obviously leave the ends longer as well, but you can curl the ends better because you can actually touch the end of the barrel without scalding yourself. So once it gets to the temperature you have clicked, it turns green. But for the heat shield, this is smells amazing for one but you just kind of mm, smells like watermelon I like to just spray it throughout and then let it dry for a few before I apply any heat so I'm just going from naturally air dried hair I'm just taking my comb gonna brush through it before we get started and then I'll make a real part And what I do for looser, beachier waves, instead of sectioning it off and doing it, you know, holding a piece of it up and doing just the bottom layer, I try to go for a more messy, haphazard look, if you will. And my followers seem to be loving it on Instagram anyway. I've had a lot of good feedback on that look. So I'll show you how I do that. And it's even easier is the good news. So just separate your hair into two chunks, definitely. Just even-ish two chunks. Start towards the back of it. I start towards the back bottom part of my hair and I take pretty good sized chunks when I'm using a one inch barrel because contrary to popular belief, I do not have super thick hair. It's like mid range. So it's not thin, but it's not thick. And I can use larger chunks of hair on the barrel, especially for a smaller one inch wand. So you take it over your head like so and wrap it, keeping the hair flat. And then I just kind of run it through and then when I drop it just leave it like that and I throw it behind me so when you're wrapping it keep the hair flat on the barrel instead of keeping it um, more round just because that will give you more Taylor Swift 2013 waves and this is more that's like so 2013 <laughs> But this will keep it um, a little easier to brush through. Put the wand over, wrap your hair like so, and then I just kind of twist and pull it back through my hair, leaving out about an inch at the end. And then I drop it, pull it out before it cools, and then set it behind me. I don't know, 
know, five, ten-ish minutes. I take my comb, or I also love the Tangle Teaser brush, or whatever kind of brush you usually use, and I comb through the curls. Once you've combed all the way through those, I'm going to take the Nourishing Gloss and just take a little bit into my palm. Literally, not much at all. Run that through my palms, and then just run this through the ends. So definitely don't touch your roots with this. <laughs> this stuff is awesome and the whole line smells amazing. And I personally do not use much hairspray on my curls just because I don't need it. If you are one that uses hairspray, I just suggest that you do just a little spritz because I find that it mostly just holds my curls down. And one of my favorite parts about this brand specifically is that my curls seem to last forever so whereas before by day three it'd be more of a wave and day five if I got there it'd be ma mainly straight I would have like one little bend on this side or something but I've noticed with Lange brand they are actually curls for multiple days not just you know subtly get worse as the days progress it actually stays in a curl so I cannot recommend this brand enough to you guys if you do check them out I would love to see how you use their ones and what you create with them leave requests for any future videos you'd like to see in the comments below thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon bye but Jesus oh because I put it in the Celsius